the sound may not be good, but I want everyone to see this, and I'm gonna I'm videotaping this video, so the sound is not loud. I can't get it louder, but I'll do my best. Please listen. Videotape this when you see it. Save it for record because it will be deleted. I guarantee that. Stephen Pigeon here on behalf of the North American Law Center, www.northamericanlawcenter.org. And I'm here to present to you today the articles of impeachment of Barack Hussein Obama as prepared by the North American Law Center. This video has been prepared so that you might have ease of reference in, uh, in understanding and researching what has been prepared and presented by the NALC. Resolved that Barack Hussein Obama, acting President of the United States, is impeached for high crimes and misdemeanors, and that the following articles of impeachment to be exhibited to the Senate. Articles of impeachment exhibited by the House of Representatives of the United States of America in the name of itself, and of all of the people of the United States of America against Barack Hussein Obama, the acting president of the United States of America, in maintenance and support of its impeachment against him for high crimes and misdemeanors. Article 1. Usurpation of the Oval Office via criminal identity fraud. Compelling prima facie evidence exists which demonstrates that Barack Hussein Obama has engaged in false personation and aggravated identity theft in conspiracy to commit false personation and identity theft in pursuit of high office and government power. No bona fide records of evidence presented by Barack Hussein Obama establishes his true identity, and voluminous evidence demonstrates that all of the documents presented by Barack Hussein Obama as proof of identity and eligibility for high office are forgeries created for the sole purpose of deceiving the American people in his pursuit of political power. Additional prima facie evidence demonstrates that Barack Hussein Obama is using an alias and has a different lawful identity, namely Barack Hussein Obama II, Barry Soatoro, or Barack Hussein Obama Soabarka. Evidence exists that demonstrates Barack Hussein Obama is using Social Security numbers, none of which appear to have been issued in the state of Hawaii or that lawfully are attached to his legal identity, and that Barack Hussein Obama has concealed all of his bona fide birth, school, passport, residency, selective service, and previous employment records in an effort to conceal his true identity. In his conduct of the office of the President of the United States, Barack Hussein Obama, in violation of his constitutional oath to faithfully execute the office of the President of the United States and to the best of his ability preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States, and in violation of his constitutional duty to take care that the laws be faithfully executed, has prevented, obstructed, and impeded the administration of justice in that one. On January 20, 2009, the person identifying himself as Barack Hussein Obama accepted the presidential oath of office on false and fraudulent pretenses. Two, before, during, and since his election in 2008 has made false and misleading statements under oath of perjury to unlawfully accept the office of President of the United States. Three, he has withheld all determinative and material information concerning his true identity and evidence thereof from lawfully authorized investigative officers and employees of the United States under obligation to assure the people of the United States that he is the person he presents himself as and is constitutionally eligible to hold the office of president. Four, he has engaged in approving, condoning, acquiescing, and in counseling witnesses with respect to the giving of false or misleading statements and documents to lawfully authorized investigative officers and employees of the United States concerning his true identity. Five, he has interfered or endeavored to interfere with the conduct of investigations concerning his true identity by the Department of Justice in the United States, the Federal Bureau of Investigation, the Secret Service, the Democratic Party, the news media, and congressional committees. Six, he has approved, condoned, and, and or acquiesced in the surreptitious payment of substantial sums of money for the purposes of obtaining the silence or influence in the testimony of witnesses, potential witnesses, or individuals who participated in such unlawful activities. Seven. He has endeavored to misuse the Central Intelligence Agency and Agency of the United States in the cover-up of his identity fraud. Eight, he has disseminated information received from officers of the Department of Justice of the United States to subjects of investigations conducted by lawfully authorized investigative officers and employees of the United States for the purposes of aiding and assisting such subjects in their attempts to avoid criminal liability. Nine, he has made or caused to be made false or misleading public statements for the purpose of deceiving the people of the United States into believing that a thorough and complete investigation has been conducted with respect to allegations of identity fraud and misconduct. 
10. He has endeavored to cause prospective witnesses to expect favored treatment and consideration in return for their silence or false testimony or rewarding individuals for their silence or false testimony. In all of this, Barack Hussein Obama has acted in a manner contrary to his trust as president and subversive constitutional government to the great prejudice of the cause of law and justice and to the manifest injury of the people of the United States. Wherefore, Barack Hussein Obama, by such conduct, warrants impeachment and trial and removal from office. Article 2, Malfeasance, Misconduct, and Abuse of the Oval Office. Using the powers of the office of the President of the United States, Barack Hussein Obama, in violation of his constitutional oath, faithfully to execute the office of the President of the United States and to the best of his ability to preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States, and in disregard of his constitutional duty to take care that the laws be faithfully executed, has repeatedly engaged in conduct violating the constitutional rights of citizens, impairing the due and proper administration of justice, and the conduct of lawful inquiries or contravening the laws governing agencies of the executive branch and the purpose of these ages and the purposes of these agencies. This conduct has included one or more of the following. One, he has acted personally and through his subordinates and agents, endeavored to obtain from the Internal Revenue Service in violation of the constitutional rights of citizens, confidential information contained in income tax records for purposes not authorized by law, and to target Republican and conservative political action organizations, withholding IRS tax-exempt status for opposition political organizations in violation of the constitutional rights of citizens, income tax audits or other income tax investigations to be initiated or conducted in a discriminatory manner. Two. He has misused the Federal Bureau of Investigation, the Secret Service, the National Security Agency, the Department of Homeland Security, and other executive personnel in violation or disregard of the constitutional rights of citizens by directing or authorizing such agencies or personnel to conduct or continue electronic surveillance or other investigations for purposes unrelated to national security, the enforcement of laws, or any other lawful function of his office. He directed, authorized, or permitted the use of information obtained thereby for purposes unrelated to national security, the enforcement of laws, or any other lawful function of his office, and he did direct the concealment of certain records made by the Federal Bureau of Investigation of Electronic Surveillance. Three, he has, acting personally and through his subordinates and agents in violation of disregard of the constitutional rights of citizens, authorized and permitted to be maintained a secret investigative unit within the office of the President, financed in part with money derived from campaign contributions, which unlawfully utilized the resources of the Department of Justice, the Department of Homeland Security, National Security Agency, and the Central Intelligence Agency engaged in covert and unlawful activities and attempted to prejudice the constitutional rights of accused citizens to a fair trial in both the civil and military courts. Number four. He has failed to take care that the laws are faithfully executed by failing to act when he knew or had reason to know that his close subordinates endeavored to impede or frustrate lawful efforts to enforce and duly execute the laws of the United States regarding illegal immigration, the lawful detention and deportation of illegal aliens, his unlawful release from detention of illegal aliens accused of violent crimes, as well as his efforts to manipulate the election system for political gain, failure to execute the laws of the United States equally without regard to political affiliation. Five. He has abused the power of the Oval Office to circumvent and subvert the constitutional rule of law which vests all lawmaking authority with Congress alone by abusing executive powers in an overt effort to eliminate the constitutional authority of the legislative and judicial branches of the federal government. Six, he is misusing military force without congressional authorization and oversight in violation of the War Powers Act and other constitutional provisions of multiple military incursions into numerous sovereign nations with the clear intent to unlawfully topple foreign governments and install governments favorable to a personal agenda directly at odds with the best interests of the United States. Seven, he has issued and enforced military rules of engagement that have unnecessarily placed members of our military in harm's way without the ability to defend themselves on the front lines, resulting in an unnecessary and unacceptable rise in U.S. casualties. Eight, he has unlawfully incarcerated members of the U.S. military for carrying out orders on the battlefield without congressional authority or oversight, creating increasing morale issues within the ranks and raising doubts in the minds of American soldiers asked to risk their life and limb under his command. Nine, he has been derelict in his command of national security agencies, resulting in unnecessary death of American civilians in Benghazi and American soldiers on extortion 17 in Afghanistan, among others, and has intentionally, with malice aforethought, engaged in overt misrepresentation to the families and the American people concerning the facts and circumstances of these events. Number 10, he has directed and overseen the intentional false reporting of events surrounding numerous national security failures, foreign policy failures, foreign intelligence failures, the misreporting of the true nature of our involvements overseas, and the issuance of false information concerning the death of numerous military personnel and military contractors in an effort to conceal the level of invasion into our own national security forces and military command by foreign agents. 
Number 11, he has directed the single largest increase in national debt in U.S. history without any congressional authority or oversight, without a single congressionally authorized federal budget since 2009. Number 12, he has unilaterally authorized the killing of American citizens deemed political affiliation alone to be a potential domestic terrorist without due process of law or right of, to defense and direct violation of constitutional rights. Number 13, he has engaged in massive campaign finance fraud involving le illegal overseas funding from known enemies of the United States and worked with the Democratic Party to manipulate election results in multiple states and districts. Number 14, in refusing to produce papers and records, Barack Hussein Obama, substituting his sole judgment as to what materials were necessary for the inquiry, interposed the powers of the presidency against the lawful subpoena power of the House of Representatives, thereby assuming to himself functions and judgments necessary to the exercise of the sole power of impeachment vested by the Constitution in the House of Representatives. 15. He has directed and overseen the intentional destruction of governmental records necessary to the investigations of multiple agency scandals with the unlawful intent to conceal all evidence that would be damaging to his administration. Number 16. He has ordered the Department of Justice to provide unlawful special treatment and protections for the unlawful acts of political friends while unlawfully using the Department of Justice to wrongfully investigate, threaten, intimidate, charge, and incarcerate political foes. Number 17, he has misused the authority of the Department of Justice to obstruct and impair the investigation, prosecution, and justice of known unlawful activities carried out by administration appointees in numerous federal agencies. Number 18, he has used unlawful methods to appoint cabinet members subverting the rule of law and authority of Congress, as just confirmed by the U.S. Supreme Court. Number 19, he has abused executive powers or caused appointed agency personnel to unlawfully threaten, intimidate, and cause removal from employment numerous members of the news media in an overt violation of First Amendment rights. In all of this, Barack Hussein Obama has acted in a manner contrary to his trust as president and has acted to subvert the constitutional government of the United States to the great prejudice of the cause of law and justice and to the manifest injury of the people of the United States. Wherefore, Barack Hussein Obama, by such conduct, warrants impeachment and trial and removal from office. Article 3. Aiding and abetting known enemies of the United States. In his conduct of the office of the President of the United States, Barack Hussein Obama, contrary to his oath to faithfully execute the office of the President of the United States, to the best of his ability to preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States, and in violation of his constitutional duty to take care that the laws be faithfully executed, has directly engaged in the covert aiding and abetting of foreign entities via the funding, army, training, and intelligence assistance to the Muslim Brotherhood, ISIS, Al-Qaeda, Hamas, the Taliban, the Palestinian Authority, Hezbollah, the Libyan Islamic Fighting Group, the Free Syrian Army, and others. He has directly or indirectly, indirectly, through the agencies under his direct command, used American tax dollars and assets to aid and abet known enemies of the United States, including known terror organizations and organizations identified on a terrorist list established by the United States as enemies to the United States in Egypt, Libya, Lebanon, Syria, Pakistan, Yemen, Tunisia, Iraq, Afghanistan, Kenya, Iran, Ukraine, North, Central, and South America. This conduct has included one or more of the following. One. He has refused to faithfully execute the laws of the United States concerning organized immigration and naturalization as prescribed by the 1986 Immigration Act. Two, he has unlawfully used taxpayer funds to aid and abet the illegal invasion of the United States. Three, he has used unlawful and unreasonable threats and intimidation tactics to force well-intended federal agents to stand down on enforcement in direct violation of the laws of the United States. Four, he has unlawfully used national security agencies under his direct command to threaten and intimidate American citizens in violation of their constitutional rights and in violation of posse comitatus in an effort to silence their opposition to the ongoing invasion of the United States by unlawful intruders. Five, without any congressional authority or oversight and in direct violation of his duties as commander-in-chief, he is directly engaged in the covert aiding and abetting of foreign entities via the funding, arming, training, and intelligence assistance to known enemies of the United States, including the Muslim Brotherhood, ISIS, Al-Qaeda, Hamas, the Taliban, the Palestinian Authority, Hezbollah, and the Is Libyan Islamic Fighting Group, and others. Six, he has engaged or caused his subordinates to engage in weapons trafficking to known enemies of the United States, specifically the Mexican cartels at our southern border and Islamic terror networks throughout the Middle East. He has worked to undermine relationships with U.S. citizens and numerous U.S. allies around the world by engaging in unlawful surveillance unrelated to national security. Number eight, he has directly threatened internal national security. He and his subordinates have worked to cause socioeconomic upheaval and racial tensions in the United States for the sole purpose of political gain. 
Nine, he has worked to hamstring U.S. service members and private contractors on foreign battlefields via rules of engagement, which have given our enemies an upper hand on the front lines. Ten, he is engaging in an unlawful overt effort to disarm legal American citizens and remove public access to ammunition in direct violation of the U.S. Second Amendment, claiming to prevent, uh, aiming to prevent a free people from providing for the personal protection of life, liberty, and property, protect against illegal invasion, or a government body which has become abusive to the citizens in violation of constitutional protections. Number 11, he has knowingly appointed cabinet-level personnel with direct ties to international terrorist organizations and has given them top security clearances. Number 12, he has unlawfully used groups with known ties to terrorist organizations as Oval Office policy advisors and altered numerous national security and law enforcement policies on the basis of advice from known enemies of the United States. Number 13, he has circumvented congressional authority to unlawfully use taxpayer funds to finance known terror organizations and isolate some of our closest allies now under direct military attack. 14. He has unlawfully and purposefully dismantled the balance of power between the three branches of the federal government operating as a unilateral, unchecked dictatorship. Number 15. He has worked to unlawfully fund, protect, and defend known anti-American organizations in direct violation of 50 U.S. Code, Section 843. Number 16. He has unilaterally defunded, demoralized, undermined, and dismantled the U.S. military and military command, leaving our country increasingly vulnerable to attack and uh, unable to respond. Number 17, he has sought to remove qualified military leadership from command due solely to their opposition to his destruction of the military and military readiness while advancing the careers of those within the ranks who have openly agreed to fire on American citizens if so ordered. 18, he has worked with the labor unions to threaten, intimidate, and extort, extort money from U.S. employers and employees and unlawfully use labor union funds to advance an anti-American agenda without the voluntary consent of union members. Number 19, he knew or should have known that he was placing Americans in harm's way in Benghazi, Afghanistan, Iraq, and Pakistan without adequate force protection in direct violation of his oath and duties as commander-in-chief. In all of this, Barack Hussein Obama has acted in a manner contrary to his trust as president and subversive of his constitutional government to the great prejudice of the cause of law and justice and to the manifest injury of the people of the United States. Wherefore, Barack Hussein Obama, by such conduct, warrants impeachment and trial and removal from office. These are the articles of impeachment that have been drafted by the North American Law Center for your review and consideration. This is Stephen Pigeon saying thank you.